Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well at home. Today is a special Sunday. It's Palm Sunday, and it is a great tradition to have all of our children walk down the center aisle and process to the front, waving palm fronds and singing Hosanna. Since we're all in our homes this morning, I have a favor to ask you. Can each of you post a palm in the comments? It can be a palm tree emoji, a picture of a palm frond. It's totally up to you. But let's build a digital path fit for the entrance of our king. And extra points to all you kids that sing Hosanna in the highest while you find and post your picture. So today I want to start by reading the true king from the beginner's Bible. If you have this Bible at home, you can follow along with us. The true king. Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus told two disciples to bring him a donkey. He told them where to find it. Jesus rode on the donkey to Jerusalem. A big crowd welcomed him. People waved palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel. The leaders in Jerusalem did not like Jesus. They saw how many people were following him, and they were angry about it. They were jealous. So how many of you have seen the movie Onward? Now, don't worry if you haven't seen it yet. I won't spoil it for you. But in Onward, the movie starts with a flashback. Now, a flashback is a scene that's set in an earlier time than the main story. So in Onward, it begins years and years and years ago when all these mythical creatures had magical powers. But then the rest of the movie takes place in our current time now. So we just read the true story of Jesus riding to Jerusalem on a donkey. But I want us to flash back to the Old Testament before Jesus was ever even born, to Zechariah 9.9. Rejoice, O people of Zion! Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem! Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey riding on a donkey's colt. Did you hear that? Before Jesus was ever even born, it was said that he would ride in on a donkey. Now, some of you Grace Kids have been learning about prophecies. And prophecies are when you're being told what is going to come. So Zechariah wrote that Jesus would ride in to Jerusalem on a donkey almost 500 years before it actually happened. How's that for an awesome flashback, right? Now, before we close in prayer, I want to encourage you to keep dropping those palm trees in the comments so we can build that digital pathway for our king on Palm Sunday. Also, share this with all your friends so they can add a palm too. I'm glad I could start Holy Week with all of you. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to save us from our sins. And thank you for your word, the Bible, that shows us your plan was already made from the very beginning. Help us to keep looking to you in uncertain times and let us to continue to praise and worship Jesus. And it is in his name that we pray, amen. Hey, thank you so much for spending some time with me this morning, but now I'm gonna turn it over to Jay so he, we can continue to worship together. Have a great week, guys.